Uh, well, hello everyone. Um, I've got another uh, tool which I think um, you all might find uh, as amazingly useful as I do. Um, if you're like me, uh, your workbench is uh, constantly covered in this stuff. Uh, you know, bits of styrene, dust, um, anything that you, you, you've sort of uh, sanded off uh, for a model or if you're, particularly if you're doing lots of scratch building, uh, there's piles of this stuff everywhere. Um, Trying to keep your bench as clean as possible, obviously, is, uh, is, uh, is essential. Uh, otherwise, you might uh, end up transferring some of this stuff to, uh, to, your next, uh, to your next model. And I've done that loads of times. Um, even wearing uh, you know, gloves, uh, I've still transferred some of this stuff because I haven't managed to get it all off my workbench, no matter what I've tried. So I had a look around and I asked myself, is there a way I can uh, you know, clean my bench much more efficiently and uh, with the least amount of fuss? So the obvious thing is uh, vacuuming it up. Can you get a vacuum cleaner? So I had a look for what's the smallest vacuum cleaner you could get. And they're still too big because they're mostly designed for, uh, you know, obviously cleaning our homes, our kitchens, and particularly cars. I looked at car vacuum cleaners um, and they're still too big. Um, they're just uh, completely unwieldy for, for the space that we tend to have for our model making. Um, so I had a look at some of the suppliers which uh, I am aware of uh, for, for model tools. And as luck would have it, uh, Dispay um, do a vacuum cleaner, uh, which is this thing. Um, now, um, when it arrived, um, I was um, quite surprised at how small it was. Uh, I obviously, obviously, I saw it on the website and saw the dimensions. Um, but I've been using this for, let me think, what, probably about four weeks. And it's amazing. It's absolutely transformed um, how I keep my uh, workbench, uh, workbench clean. It's compact, it's very powerful, and an amazing uh, vacuum for its size. I'd even argue this is more powerful than some of the handheld vacuums you can get for your car or for, you know, for our homes. Um, but it's aimed at model makers. It's aimed at uh, you, know, you and I for, for, to keep our, our workbenches as clean as possible. Uh, so let's, let's get out of the box and I'll show you exactly what, uh, what this actually consists of. And I'll give you a demo on this debris which I've got on my, uh, on my workbench. And you can kind of see firsthand how good it is. Um, it comes in two boxes. Uh, the first one is the obvious is the, uh, is the vacuum clear itself. Um, Again, really nicely presented by uh, by Dispay. Uh, comes in its uh, its own little uh, uh, sort of. Uh, uh, I think this is kind of a, a suede, um, uh, you know, suede holder. Um, so if I get this out of the uh, out of its holder, that's the actual vacuum, um, and that is super super compact. Uh, if I get my uh, standard sized uh, ruler, you can kind of see how compact this actually is. And even if I hold it in my hand, you can see how amazingly small this thing is. Um, I was absolutely stunned when I, when I saw it. Really good design as well. Um, it feels solid in your hand. It's not lightweight. It doesn't feel plasticky. Um, it's really well made. Um, it's, it's something I, I think was, was kind of out there, but I just, just tripped over it when I was looking at the display site. Um, but it's amazing. It's it's uh, it's it's an amazing piece uh, piece of kit. Anyway, that's the vacuum itself. Uh, in the other box, uh, you get some um, some accessories, uh, which I'll explain uh, as we as we go. Um, you get an extendable uh, uh, part on there. Which you're probably all familiar with, with your handheld vacuums for the car uh, for getting in those nooks and crannies. Uh, and you also get this, uh, which I'll explain what that is uh, in, uh, in a little while. Uh, you also get um, the, uh, the full reach, the full charger, uh, which I keep in one of my, one of my drawers. Uh, it's all fully branded for, for, for display. It's basically USB. Plug that into any USB power source and you can charge, uh, charge this thing without any problems at all. Now, um, what I liked about it as well was how it was actually put together. Uh, obviously, this is the uh, the business end uh, where all the suction actually goes on. Um, but it's nice and easy to to take apart. Um, you kind of have to unlock it and then pull it, and that's where the uh, that's where the filter is, which I'll also show you um, how that uh, actually comes out. But let's give it a go. Let's actually uh, sort of put that back together. Uh, what I tend to do is uh, I attach. Um, the uh, the brush component, um, which uh, is in the bottom of the box, if I can get that uh, get that out, there it is. 
Um, this is a brush component, which I tend to leave uh, attached to the to the vacuum cleaner. So basically, I attach uh, I attach this to to the end, um, and that's how I kind of keep it on my workbench, just like that. Now, um, recharging is is in the back, as I mentioned, standard USB. Um, this is your on/off switch. Um, so let's give you let's give this a whirl. So if I try and talk out the vacuum cleaner, as you can see, uh, that is sucking up all of the bits uh, that I've uh, been uh, sort of cutting off my screws uh, to give you uh, you guys a demonstration. But what's interesting is that it also got uh, a boost function. If I turn this over and hit this again, I can switch it off. But if I hit it twice to turn it on, yeah, that's an extra boost. So if you do have lots and lots and lots of stuff to get up, you can actually get it on a sort of super boost setting if you like, and that's. That will easily get up anything off your off your workbench. I'll just switch this off so I can uh, speak to you a bit easier. So, so as you saw, that uh, that cleaned that bench without any problems at all, uh, even on the lowest setting. Uh, I don't think I've ever used the highest setting to be honest. Uh, so the lowest setting was uh, was ideal for uh, for me. So as you can see, that cleans your workbench without any problems at all, and it's super convenient. You know, I leave this on the side uh, when I've finished a, a build or when I've finished doing some scratch building. Um, I use this thing just to clean everything off before I start the next build. Um, as I say, it comes with uh, several attachments. Um, that's if you want to uh, reach into some some interesting places if you uh, if you can't uh, quite reach uh, with uh, with a small uh, brush attachment. Um, I didn't mention this thing. Um, now this is interesting because it actually fits on the other end because obviously this is a uh, a vacuum, so it, it's uh, it's actually blowing air out of the back as it sucks it in from the front. So what they've done is given you this kind of blower. Um, now, I kind of wonder what's that for, um, but actually, it's really useful as well. Um, I use this for uh, cleaning off uh, any kind of dust, or um, if I'm doing some of my part works, for instance, which maybe have sat on a shelf for a few weeks before the next parts have arrived, they might have some dust. Now, I can't get into these cars or these um, uh, part works with, um, with a duster. What I can do is I can give it a good blast with, uh, with one of these. Um, in fact, yesterday um, I just finished this uh, this model, and uh, what I wanted to do before I put it away was just give the engine a bit of a blast, um, just to get any sort of debris or dust which had sort of settled over the weekend. Um, and because this engine is uh, you know, super detailed, this is a 120 um, Honda um, R272 which I just finished. Um, but I put all the detail on the engine and I wanted something to blow the, the dust off and this thing was absolutely perfect. Uh, just a quick uh, a quick blast and it's absolutely clean and completely clean of dust. It's a, it's, it's an amazing sort of addition. Uh, really, uh, whoever thought of that was uh, was a genius on the day. Um, you know, what can we do with the, the air that's coming out the back of this thing? Well, we can use that to, to clean our models. Um, I'd even say if, uh, if you were, say, a... Um, uh, if you build a Lego, for instance, and again, that's got dust on it. You don't really want to be trying to dust all the nooks and crannies with uh, with a duster or a or an earbud or something. Um, this thing blasts all the dust off without any problems uh, at all. Um, let's put that away so I can uh, show you um, how this thing actually comes to bits. As I said, that's in the, the bottom of the, the vacuum cleaner. Now the front, as I said, this, uh, this comes off uh, when you just waggle it and that's where the that's where the the filter is and if i can kind of show you that's what's come off my bench over the last what probably couple of weeks or so um according to a display um this thing will go down to literally microns worth of dust you know, i think it's 0 0.3 i think they say uh so stuff that you and i can't even see that this thing will actually uh, suck up from your your bench um as I said, this is a super efficient uh, uh, filter. You get also this one with the machine itself. Uh, if you look on the site, um, I've also got in some uh, replacement filters. You get a box uh, with uh, with a couple of extra extra filters in there when, uh, w uh, whenever you want to uh, to replace these. But frankly, these are going to last you for, for months 
if if not years uh, before you need to to replace them because they're very very easy to 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 clean um you can easily just knock off, off most of that out um and carry on um, you know sucking up the uh, sucking up the dust from your from your area but let me show that again uh, i just want to put that uh, sort of back into its uh, its hole uh, then i want to reassemble this put my brush back on which goes on if I can get it the right way around, which is like like that. And I'm just gonna just gonna really suck up, I guess, uh, what I've just put on the on the bench. So it's a long press to get it going. Um, and as you can see, that pulls off all of that with without any, any problems at all back into back into the vacuum cleaner. Um, as I said, I'm gonna switch switch that off. And it's a long press uh, to to switch the machine off uh, uh, completely. As I said, that's that's my solution. Um, I, I managed to find this one from uh, from Dispay, um, and it's uh, it's kind of transformed how I I guess clean and keep my my workbench uh, you know, clean and tidy. Um, if you're like me and you're constantly battling with you know with dust and debris uh, everywhere, uh, I even use this to to uh, clean the floor in my uh, work, 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 work workshop um, or in my uh, in my uh, my extractor as well. Uh, basically anywhere where you want to sort of keep a, a, a surface clean. Um, so you get the attachment as I said for for blasting air onto uh, part works, any models that you've got. Uh, great for Lego. If, if that's what you you do as well uh, you get the a long attachment if you if you want that uh, to to reach any areas which is uh, which is inaccessible just using the uh, the end although I tend to just keep it like like this uh, I just keep it handy um, and when I do need to, uh, to to do any cleaning up it's literally seconds and I can carry on um, you know I'm not using anti-static cloths or trying to brush everything into a bin and getting your hands uh, you know, covered in uh, you know, styrene and other 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 nasties um this uh, just keeps it uh, keeps it nice and clean um i say really elegant solution fantastically well built um i think it's got two motors in this thing um it's uh i think it's a piece of kit that uh, i think most model makers would find it useful but say check it out it's uh, it's on the it's on the website and also the replacement uh, filters so yeah have a look uh, and i say uh do let me know what you what you think if there's any questions you know do uh, do come back to me